Veste Skins, o primeiro e único mercado de skins do Brasil. Anuncie suas skins pelo preço que deseja vendê-la e receba seu dinheiro de forma segura. Você também pode comprar skins com preço bem abaixo e revender no próprio site. Entre no link da descrição e confira você mesmo. They managed to take away from them. It's going to be MV kicking it off on the T side. Off the two. An aggressive start already. With a quick trade early on. Me, who was one of the men really to watch in that series. And has been pretty damn good in these online matches for MV. Of course, the other has been Kallax, and they're going to quickly push on to shore. It's fallen to try and defend. He does have an incendiary to slow them down, which should buy some time on the rotations, but they're just going to jump straight through it, Jason. It's going to be a TK in the mix of things, and well, because of that, we are going to see the CT side with a man advantage and make it another KNG on the B side. He's got support from Taco if things do go wrong, but he's got the peekaboo shots that he can take, and just one after one. This is very easy for KNG. King of the B site. Only moves remaining. He's just trying to bait out the shot, but the fact is at this point, they take a battle for long. In fact, four players going in this direction. KNG completely blind, but luckily the young Argentinian has got his back. As they slaughter the remaining T's. In fact, all three players dropping, and the fourth just decides to scurry away. In the meantime, Mihu is going to try and find a way back in, but Fur wins that duel as well. It's gonna be a hell of a shot if he wants to be able to connect on the following. He's gotta worry about the flank as well. Time is taken away. And he does get the first kill, but he's not gonna expect the second player towards ramp and KNG. Well, we'll if he throws that in, this is gonna be so tough. Now they've left it so that KNG can't actually see anything. He's got no vision as they push into the site. The first one's still gonna be very easy for him as they walk through. Second as well, KNG, they just can't stop him at the back of the site. Three already, round over. Mihu, you can kill as many as you want, but you aren't winning this round. As fast as little legs can carry him to get into the site. It's a full execution from MIBR. Moose just hiding in the corner. Hasn't been spotted already. Two, make that three for Moose. He's gone nuclear, but Fallen's found two back. So this makes things possible. Of course, the CT side quick on their rotations, and although the retake normally quite difficult, there's no utility. The second they hear the bomb, they go pushing, and KNG and Fallen. It comes down to Moose to try to hold on to this with Kallax as well. Alex looking away at slightly the wrong time. He's worried about the tunnels, but there's nobody coming in that direction, and just both trying to make their way through the window and the door. That is as easy as it gets for Envy. They clean up every single member of MIBR, and now things are... Nifty about to come under some pressure. We again hit the opening pick. It's something he's been doing very well so far, and they actually don't even know the Ryan down here. The trades come in, but they haven't actually checked. This could be perfect. Ryan's redemption already getting one. The turnaround, though, from Fallen so quick on the trigger. It's only going to be a single kill, and he basically saves their round. KNG also holding off. On the cross of Fur with a headshot peeking through the gap in the smoke. KNG hoping for the headshot, but doesn't actually achieve that. That's so risky for Fallen, but he pulls it off. However, the trade's so quick, and KNG just needs to kill off Nifty. He gets into that 1v1, and he retrieves his big green. Gonna be Moose facing against him. He spots him, and he hits the shot. Of course he does. A ridiculous you know, round. I didn't expect anyone to be here, but he turns around at the perfect point. Gets that opening pick. Second smoke will, however, be falling elsewhere as Ryan just going to sneak his way through the smoke. They've heard it, but he still gets the kill. However, it's still going to be a trade in favor of the Brazilian side as the push begins. Aaron's still actually being so annoying inside lower as well. Gets another kill this time on the Kallax. And Ferguson already able to secure the bomb in their hands yet again. And will they actually continue to push in towards A or will they back up? And Fallen, he's the one trying to watch from behind. And the oh, timing is so perfect time. for him. He only turned around the last second there. Gets the kill. And now it's all on Nifty to keep Envy's hopes alive on Dust 2. The Spidey senses. Every single time it seems he turns around at the perfect moment. And Taco is there to close things out. MOBR are going to take Dust 2. It's a close matchup in the end. Está cansado de jogar mal? Então conheça o Guia Global. Um curso de CS feito para você poder aprimorar o seu jogo e poder evoluir ao máximo sua gameplay. Entre no link da descrição e confira você mesmo. Tamo junto. Ready, but here we go. We are into our pistol round. Jason is going to be Ryan kicking things off with an opening kill, but the trade is so fast from Taco. However, there is a lot of defenders here. Three players from, well, I was going to say North American side, but I guess it's a full, the worldwide squad, we can call it. It seems like 
Envy are almost doing the same thing MIBR were on Dust2. They're just getting aggressive on their CT side. Like, I mean, if you're me, who, why wouldn't you after the 4k you got before? A lot of information you got he's continuing to push. Nifty gets a little bit lucky, though, as he takes it on Taco. And Ryan, well, he won't be so lucky as he's going to fall. But will they expect Moose to be tucked away? And no, that would be the bomb now dropped. And Nifty's just seeming to hit every single shot. Moose gets himself another, and Envy. Quite managed to connect the shots. Also, he's come in, but Fallen goes down. A second may even go in their favor. This is now just a fur. Somehow this has fallen apart for MIBR. A 1v2. Incendiary. Not gonna reach, but it doesn't matter. Kalex gets the final frag, and they've done it again. A retake that looked almost impossible when they started it, and they survive with still two players standing. At least has that little bit of information, but the time is ticking now. Needs to get this kill quickly, and is he just gonna stick this? This is bold. His opponent's a little bit further away. Fur will spray him down. It takes a 4k from one man from the CT side just to make sure nobody else can do anything here. He has already been spotted. KNG in the meantime runs straight out, and that's an easy kill. Moose doesn't have the cover he needs. Teammate of me who is gonna sneak by, however, and that's been a problem for them a lot of the time. But this time they put him down, and KNG has awoken. A couple of kills for him here, and Kalix left alone. He's not gonna be able to do anything either. Trying to be sneaky once again. He's gonna spot one in the smoke. Actually, digs the second one blind. Fallen again though. Quick on the reaction. He's gonna keep this at a 3v3. <laughs> what was that? Moose is gone like a flash and leaves just Ryan. Sneaky defusals. Farrant, you're going to be jumping across the top of the trains just to try and clear some angles. It's nice. You're going to be expected by Kalix. Already one kill going their way, but Ryan quick to keep it even. They're actually both at the top as well. Smoke does go down, and Ryan, he gets both kills. Ridiculous. He's in play. Kalix. Oh, he doesn't get that kill either. That's a couple now oh. that have gone wrong. And Ryan, he's oh. almost killed off me who threw the smoke. This kid has come to play. He's feeling it on train, and he's just going to wipe them down. Back-to-back -back rounds where Mayan is your MVP. The rotation to come in, but they throw the first into A. That's the bait. They spot a player on Ivy as well, but KNG, he's going to be called back at the last second. All the footsteps have been heard. He needs to at least hit one of these shots to help out Taco. That's what he does. Taco will, however, fall. Both orps on the T side have managed to find themselves a kill. Now it's left all onto Nifty. 1v3. He's got a plant to at least help them financially, but this is going to be a tough one to try and hold on to, especially with the flank from Fur. I think he's dead within seconds. It's not possible. And MIBR. However, they do have to be careful of the push. They're going to make their way onto KNG already. An opener coming up. The player left blind as he falls down KNG with another and fallen alongside him. It's the king to hold on to the B site and leaving it all on to Nifty once again try and ruin it for them and he's not going to be able to 15 14 the fight back continues for the brazilian free take looking to begin and fur has already managed to find the man looking to flank in fallen has caught another one as well it's on to calyx and nifty with just a tech nine he has to try and hold close on the side he's not going to be able to do anything calyx with everything to do and he can't mibr fallen on the other side trying to bait out his shot and they'll succeed it enables them to cross and there's a push coming in on the other side of the map. I don't even think they realized that Mayan was there. And elsewhere, they're falling. Fallen gets away. Keeps this advantage about. Fur's waiting to support him as well. There you go. I think he spotted out Nifty. Well, he's at least going to know exactly where Moose is going to be. Now he's just looking to delay for some time. Hoping for some frags to come in from other places. Taka's able to get one onto Kalix, now down to a two, a one on three actually, as Nifty gets the first, the bomb planted for him. But can he hold this, close this out? Oh, he's looking to do it once again, and he hits every shot, Nifty! He catches Nifty on the wraparound, spotting out the feet, he's so desperately low, that's the first he needed. Now with 15 seconds left, only Kalix stands in his way. Rounding the corner. Doesn't know necessarily that he's in the corner. He's running out of time and Kalix is going to do it. 18-18. MV. Ryan. Trying to sneak through the flashbang. Spot on from Nifty. He sets up his team. Leaves Fallen to try and save them here. The first kill gets picked up, but he won't get anything more. And now Taco. One versus four. Otherwise, Inferno is coming and it is. 22-18. MV. They had to fight back. They even had their opposition. Oh, with Moose already pushed up inside of apartments. They might actually make the play in towards A. 
Let me see Tonka way on the other side of the smoke, trying to play around it as well. Spots out one, spots out two, and he gets both players now down, and somehow he escapes with his life. Shouldn't be allowed to do that, me, dude. Who's trying to trade things back desperately. Well, it has to be an ace now for me, who he will at least be able to retreat. If he ever tries to go to B, it's going to be Molotov Doff just to deny that push. And a shot from Fur is going to close. Not lining up what grenades they have to try and get them back into the site. Mayan with oh, an incendiary man. could make things really difficult for the players at the back of the site. Nifty already going to be forced out. He's so low and already the trade's coming back thick and fast. There's nothing even he can do this time. A five on three turned into a three on three. And now it pretty much comes down to Mayer in here to open things up. He's not going to have any company directly on the banana, but he's going to have two towards dark, and Nifty's going to be pushing that direction as well. Three players are going to be here. Now the last two, will they expect the last player to be there? It's me who looking at Clutch out. He takes down Mayer, and the bomb is being defeated. He's not peeking around the corner. Fallen's protect him, and Fur is just trying to stay alive. And me who will get the last two kills, but not... Not in time. Especially with Moose having a rifle to boot as well. Smokes do fall in. He does a lot of damage spamming, but doesn't manage a kill. Well, I say that. He eventually does get one. I think they actually smoked twice into the church, which meant that there wasn't one for CT, but luckily for them, there was absolutely no one there for having to be the one to do the heavy lifting here as so much of a tag has come in onto his remaining teammates. Luckily, Taco working that AWP. Moose at the back of the site, though, still very healthy. The flashbang, it works on Moose, but it also catches the player pushing in somehow. First, still gets the kill, and he'll close out the remaining double. It's very, very Fur is going to be there, but Fur is not going to have a smoke anymore. I think he's just playing for the kills here. And they're going to be wrapping around the corner into him eventually. They're actually going to be trailing onto this angle. You have to, you're going to check this, but it doesn't seem to matter. First, still gets two kills. Counts with AWP. Maybe hoping to get a kill or two, maybe hoping to survive, but he won't be able to do any of that. Up against still an awkward set of lineup of uh, guns out of Envy, with the Moss and the Ump. But KNG has already been knocked down at 50 HP. Oh no, they, they're not expecting to push that Molotov. He might get around behind them. He spots at the first and the second as well, and KNG has single-handedly opened up this B site by himself. It seems like the window and the margin for error are so slim. They've got to make it now, and Moose already looking to push in. They're taking so much damage. It seems like it's all over. Jason Ryan going to try and clutch this out, and he won't stand a chance. The Brazilians, they do what was expected of them initially, but Envy definitely gave them a run for their money. They'll move up in the group, and Envy are going to stay exactly...